but uh, the first thing I did was call my mom and told her she was ecstatic about it. So um, I'm just I'm just trying to suck it all in right now. When I first got here, Coach Muschamp told me that um, it's two years until you get a scholarship. So I wasn't expecting it. So when he told me, like it just threw me way off. Like I thought I was in a dream. Like if you see me, then my mouth just dropped. So it brought tears to my eyes and. Um, Coach White cried with me, and um, that was a big thing because, like, it makes me feel like he really cares about us, and I feel it. I can feel that, and um, I just, um, it just was a real emotional thing for me. I usually don't cry, but that that was enough to do it. Well, my my biggest reason why I came here was because, um, like, uh, back home I always like preach to kids, like the young kids, to follow your dreams, and this was a big dream for me. So. Um, like, I feel like if I would have took a scholarship and went somewhere to another smaller school or something, I would have been giving up on what I really wanted to do. And also, like, before I came, I prayed about it, um, like, where I was supposed to be, and God basically told me here, and now I see why. Like, like this was my reason to be here, and um, I'm just excited. Did, did you grow up coming up to games and doing all that? And um, unfortunately, like, I just... I just had to watch them on TV. We didn't have the money to come up and watch a game or anything, but I was always like a Gator fan. And, um, you know, growing up watching like Emmett, but uh, Emmett and um, Fred Taylor. And like uh, right now, I'm honored to be on the same team as his son and, you know, just be around little Fred. Just the feel of running out in the swamp again. It's been awesome. Uh, it's, we're getting closer and closer, and I can feel it, man. It's going it's to happen for me. How was your knee held up through camp? I mean, it's a tough camp. How's it held up? Um, I mean, it, it's, it's been good. Our coaching staff has done a great job with uh, doing the right things for me, um, limiting the reps, the training staff. Um, working with me every day, doing the little things that I have to do, and it's been awesome. It's been smooth for me. What, what, do, you, what do you expect from you and Dante? Me and Dante, oh, six and seven, man. <laughs> six and seven off the edge. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of getting to the QB. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? By what? Getting to the QB? Yeah, the first part. <laughs> <laughs> six and seven. Yeah, that's our numbers. Oh, I got you. I thought you, know, I didn't know our numbers, I thought you were talking Come on, numbers. Man. Man. You guys <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't sell six and seven jerseys in the gift shop, buddy. Hey. What's no, I know you know. They should. No, they shouldn't. You want to play? You've had some battles against Demarcus Robinson. What's he like yeah. to go against? Oh, that was my roommate, and he's a, he's a good guy, <laughs> and we top it up a lot. And he's a good player. He's a good freshman. He's the best I've seen so far in person as a freshman, and I really like him, and I think he'll be a good help to this. And I've seen him join the punt return unit. Just what do you try to teach him when it comes to return punts? I mean, I don't really try to teach him anything. I mean, he's 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 an athlete, and he's pretty good just, you know, <laughs> himself. 